welcome back to the channel today we're going to get back started on the 2j swapped xj the uh the last video was just an update um on why i want to move the engine forward so today we're just going to get to it we're going to move this engine forward if you want to know why please watch the other video i'll put the link in the description um, there's some problems we're going to fix them so we're going to get chain hooked up cherry picker on get this thing kind of floating again and then i'm going to pick up the transmission and move it forward one ball see those two holes i'm going to move it there just because it's a common point it will hold it back there while the chair the cherry picker holds it up front so we can test fit our manifold manifold fits then that's where we're going to put it manifold doesn't fit we're probably going forward a little more and i'll have to make a transmission mount i mean i've got to make one anyway but let's get it Two and a quarter got it. We did it, it works. You still have to dent that side where the intake, where the plenum sticks back. And you could trim the intake a little bit, but some dentage and it fits. It fits even better because with the GE manifold, we had to scoot the engine over to the manual holes, which is about three quarters of an inch because it hit the brake booster. With that manifold, and it coming forward we were able to scoot it over that three quarters so now we have more room for our turbo 
and manifold, which means downpipe has more room, lots of stuff has more room. Two and a quarter inches got it. Now, now I've got to remake my mounts. Well, I've got to make my new mounts to fit this. The height won't change. The height's gonna stay the same. The way the frame rail comes up, it's flat. So that part won't change for me. I've just got to finish those because I want to come catch these other bolt holes. That gave us more room for our coolant hose. And let me set the radiator back in there. <laughs> Might not have to move the radiator at all, which gives us more room for our intercooler. We don't have to sacrifice so much. I still think we will notch it though. Yeah, that puts us right at two inches in the center. The fan I was looking at is this ball. It's a low profile 16 inch, a single 16 inch, but it's a two and 16th its height. And I want to have a little bit of a plenum. So if I, which just means I want a little spacing, I want it bolted to an aluminum piece that goes over this so it can draw air through the whole radiator, not just where the fan is. I don't like just zip tying them to the radiator. So I will notch this guy out and move it forward. That will, that'll work. The other reason for that is this hose looks like it's got plenty of room. This hose is getting pretty short. That guy's got to go from there to there. So we'll take advantage of that inch and a half. That's awesome. That's got that good. I don't know how much room we have to get in through here to our throttle body. And we've got room for our charge pipes to get to the intercooler. We've got like four and a half inches for our intercooler. The condenser is tiny. Where is the condenser? Where did you go? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, still stuck to the radiator. Yeah. That's just a little bitty feller. Um, it's full width, so I don't know that it's gonna go in there I've never tried to DIY my own AC system we may not hook it up at all but I kind of want it to work I want to figure that out sweet anyway I think that's gonna be it two and a quarter forward that solves so many problems we have more room it doesn't look silly it's gonna be easy to get to the bell housing bolts it doesn't look crazy silly we could go a little more and have the intake manifold have even more room, but I don't want to sacrifice any more up here. I think I think that's going to do it. So I think I'm going to slap this video together for you and get you this update. And then I got to start making some mounts, which won't be bad. I've already got these modeled the way they are. I've just got to have a two and a quarter inch jump which I already had to make the other side different anyway because of where it lined up and hit some bolts already had a jog in it so it'll come even further over and I've got more parts Hall effect sensors are in the adapter to put the oil filter straight on the block that's in <sighs> filter and strainer and stuff for the fuel pump is in because I'm going to use that pump I bought for the Dakota the AEM it should go in um, we're not going to go to return, return style right now. We're just going to leave it as is. Just waiting on the, co the R35 coil conversion kit. It's back ordered. They said beginning of next month, so we'll see when that gets in. I've still got other sensors I want to change. I just want to wire it one time. So I want the fancy knock sensors. Oh. That's why it didn't look right. That's why I had to put the ratchet strap on the other side to get it sitting level. Durr. That gives us a lot more room. I think, I think I'm gonna end up pulling the entire harness out of the front of this thing. I've got some other things I wanna do. I've got some, uh, some they're not, it's, it's not can. Uh, maybe it's can. I've got some modules I wanna use for the headlights, the turn signals, and the fans. All it needs is a couple wires and, uh, and a couple power wires so I can hide it much better. I don't need all of this crap. I think I'm going to hide the battery under one of the seats. 
um, maybe we'll see just to keep it as clean as possible under the hood and to have more room battery goes here but turbos there I'd rather have a nice big filter over here and just keep it as clean as possible this is not the nicest Jeep it does have some rust on the floor pans but mostly it's pretty decent well anyway that's gonna be it I'm gonna get this together for you we've made progress so that will work I've just got to get on the computer and get to work now Another cool thing is this mount was so short and that one was so long because of the offset and now shoving it back that way is going to make it a little more balanced. Those arms won't be as long, which is awesome. This is sweet. Well, thank you for watching.